All right, guys. This is uh, loser semis. Yeah. Thanks. All right. So yeah, Fumu versus Sorry Tag. Sorry Tag choosing to bully and playing the anti-air character against the air character. Fair play. <laughs> All right. We're starting off. Fumu asserting dominance by perfect blocking the flash kick, I will say. So this this match super sucks for uh, Wazekin just because of the power of uh, set tiles 8Y. Because it's a super long lasting hitbox that anti airs the entire time. Um, so basically it just really hurts all, a lot of Wazekin's approach and offensive mix-up options. Uh, as someone who tried to play Blaziken for our, a short second, I, I, I recognize this sucks. It's, it's a lot more than just, like, Leaf Storm and 8Y, though. Like, there's just a lot of things that Kyle can do that just really shuts down Blaziken. But, right now, it's pretty even. Not too big of a difference. Who is really getting on the aggressive here, not giving it, um, sorry, tag any kind of breathe. Nice job using the Amulga as a pause button, being able to jump in. Here we go. Full combo. Defensive buff also hurts here. Also, I like to note that not only did Sorry Tag pick Septile with 8Y and 8A, he also picked Snivy. This man's a menace to society. Alright. Oh, it's trying to corner him in, but I don't think he's in range actually. Oh my god. Sorry Tag. Sorry Tag had a great concept right there using the JR to hang there, but. Blazing Burst did not care even a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Man, that was a really risky burst there by Fumu because he wasn't actually in range to convert into shield. Cut. So, and Sorry Tag actually had the right right knowledge check to be able to know he was out of range, but Fumu just able to get that there. Here, double burst going on right now. That is gonna be a definite jump over. Septile's jump is just way too good. That looked very strange there for a second, but Septile's still doing really well here. Sorry Tag really at a nice advantage. That burst is gonna whiff it. It's probably not. Yo, nice, nice realization there by Foom getting the JX in there. Into a pretty nice combo resetting here. Making sure he's getting his distance. Fumu does like to play super, uh, super, uh, super patient, super bait and punish. So he definitely backed up there, but still able to get it in though. Able to nice. Okay, Fumu actually getting game one right there. Despite the apparent bad matchup, but Fumu showing a lot of knowledge checks right there, a lot of recognition of spacing and such. We are getting a change target though. Sorry, Tag has a lot of characters under his belt. He likes to play to certain situations and play to certain advantages. So I wonder who he's going to be picking here. He, uh, I know he was playing Shandor War against me earlier. I don't know if we've seen the Mewtwo today. I don't know. If we... So it's going to be interesting. Let's see what we got. It is Shandor War. Okay. This, this could go either one of two ways, I think. So Shandor War, super, super can wall Blaziken out. But it's, it's that classic situation of when Blaziken gets in, he has a lot of things like counter purposes and a lot of ways to play around things like over, uh, um, overheat and stuff like that. But still, 8Y is a move that really can shut down a lot of air space. Fumu remembering what his character does. The air dash actually allows some really tricky movement o over stuff like um, 5A though. Especially um, with moves like um, 8X actually has a out vulnerability on some of Star Friends. So actually, if you see it approaching you, you can 8X over it and then air dash, so you get a really low, nice approaching option. Ooh, good overheat. Probably can't confirm to a kill off of this, but he's gonna totally commit into it. We're saying back to field phase. Might be trying to get some health back, but ooh, big risk did not pay out here. Okay, first activation. 
Oh no! Okay. Oh, we're back in. Fumu just throwing out big buttons. Absolutely massive buttons. And ooh, that's a grab. That is gonna go into the kill right there. Yeah, I think Sarnatok is definitely a little bit cracking under the pressure a little bit. Um, he's, he's playing, I, I can just tell he's playing super scared this way. The second way he gets in your head and like makes you start thinking irrationally is when he wins because rationally thinking against Blaziken is the key to beating him because he has a lot of flaws in his character that if if you're in good, a good mindset you can really abuse but the second he scares you oh my goodness that was sick that was really cool that super low JX man Fumu running amok right now denied the Blaziken perfect though Down in the Molga, trying to get some pressure in, going against the wall, force an interaction, and getting the JX! Rusty Fumu actually busted, may need to get banned from tournaments. This is just not allowed. I think I think that's I think we need to ban our own TO from tournaments, because that that was just war crimes. 